Scientists make disturbing discovery about almost all protein sources. There's no way to hide. A recent study conducted by researchers from the Ocean Conservancy and the University of Toronto has unveiled a disturbing revelation about common protein sources, such as beef and tofu. Microplastics are present in nearly 90% of the samples analyzed. The study encompassed a variety of proteins, including seafood, pork, chicken, beef, and tofu, and estimated that the average American adult might ingest around 11,000 microplastic pieces annually. Among the specific findings, breaded shrimp emerged as the protein with the highest concentration of microplastics per serving, followed by plant-based nuggets and traditional chicken nuggets. Notably, chicken breasts, pork loin chops, and tofu exhibited comparatively lower levels of microplastics. Researchers pointed out that highly processed items like breaded shrimp and chicken nuggets contained significantly more microplastic particles per gram, indicating that food processing could be a potential source of contamination. This study contributes to the growing body of evidence highlighting the widespread presence of microplastics in various environments, including our food. Previous research has identified microplastics in water, fruits, vegetables, salt, sugar, rice, milk, and beer. One study even suggested that the average adult consumes about 2,000 microplastics annually through salt alone, and human exposure to microplastics also occurs through inhalation. The World Health Organization WHO, recently released a report summarizing research on the health impacts of microplastics, emphasizing that it is still too early to draw definitive conclusions. George Leonard, one of the study's authors and the chief scientist at Ocean Conservancy, stressed the need to take the issue seriously, acknowledging that the consequences of microplastic exposure on human health remain uncertain. The pervasive nature of microplastics underscores the challenge of avoiding plastic intake through dietary choices. George Leonard noted, there's no way to hide from plastics if you're eating, emphasizing the ubiquity of microplastics in the food supply. Experts caution that unless there is a significant reduction in the use of persistent plastics, microplastics will continue to be a prevalent environmental issue. In response to the growing concern, efforts are underway to explore more sustainable alternatives to traditional plastics. Materials made from recycled seaweed and algae are gaining traction, and scientists have made strides in breaking down plastics before they become problematic, utilizing innovative methods such as employing waxworms and fungus. Despite these developments, the persistence of microplastics in the environment underscores the need for systemic changes in plastic design and usage to mitigate the long-term impact on human health and the planet. Please do not forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget subscribe and like.